There'll be no retiring on this little piece, actually, but you know what? So what? Isn't it adorable? It's actually a... Sh I didn't know what it was, actually. And you know what? This pattern... I walked by it at Goodwill this morning in Stillwater with Annie, and you know, I thought, hmm, what's that? But then I thought, oh, that looks familiar. And I thought that it looked like this piece that I had purchased earlier in the week. But no, not quite the same. But you know what? Who cares? It is stunning. It's actually a lighter blue, I think. And it's functional. It's a sugar bowl. You put your little spoon in there and you open it up and then you get your little sugar out there. And you know what? Andy goes, is it a Gemco? And I said, I don't know. I don't see anything. And he said, look under the lid, dumbass. And I look under, oh, Gemco, there it is. So voila, and what do we have here? $3.99 today, green tag sale, everything $1.49. $1.49 for something that he says will probably be resaleable for a little more than that. 20 something like that. Otherwise, it won't look so bad with the darker blue. Who knows? Another last ditch piece purchased today, um, made by Villeroy and Bach, which is that uh, centuries old German China company. Um, it's a nice picture. It's got a great shape to it, um, and arguably has a, a has an Art Nouveau feel to it with the uh, stylized grape leaves. Um, right now, someone's trying to get two hundred seventy dollars for this on eBay, which is a bit outrageous. Um, at eighteen dollars, though, I'd be happy to get. 40 or $50 for it. Again, it would help pay for some of the other things I've purchased that I will be keeping. This is the last piece that I'll be showing, uh, last purchase of mine. And you know, I got it today at the antique store in Stillwater. Um, can't remember which one. And it just was charming. And the tag said 1940s and the knit maker, which was W.S. George. And was that an American company, Andy? It was. And you know, it's just charming. It's in great shape. And something about the 40s and cherries and it being so cute, I just thought on top of the counters or on top of the ca cabinets, wouldn't that just be the most adorable thing? So it had to be mine, and I think I got it for a whopping $8. So what a steal. Um, this is a, a pink uh, flamingo color, high-Z glass company uh, sugar bowl and creamer. I'm not sure the camera does it justice. It looks a little peachy on film uh, from what my uh, film tech is informing me here. Uh, but this was $20, and um, Flamingo Pink high -Z is is quite desirable. Again, uh, I won't be keeping this. This is going to help defray the cost of some of my other purchases. The uh, coup de grace of this trip is, for me, is that I finally decided that I'm going to collect this pottery, which is called Niloac Pottery made in um, Benton, Arkansas. It's made from kaolin clay, and uh, you can see it's just an amazing um, mixture of clays. It's unglazed, it's unfinished. Nothing about this is mass produced. This is the clay like it comes out of the ground. It's combined, it's turned on a wheel, um, and it is stamped on the bottom, though it is difficult to see. These pieces were quite expensive, and for insurance purposes, I. I will not be discussing their value on the internet for all the world to know, um, but there they are. That does bring us to the conclusion of today's uh, haul. We do hope you enjoyed seeing what we acquired over the last week. Yeah!